Hello and welcome to this video. My name is David Thorne. In this CSS video, we're going to be talking all about the outline CSS property and basically how we can use it. Now, as you can see, I've got a quote from Elon Musk, which is sat in the middle of the screen with a picture in the background. And uh, we're going to show you how the, the difference basically of outline versus border, because border is going to uh, allow you to understand basically what the difference is. Um, yeah, so let's just get let's just get started rather than talking about it. So at the moment, what we have is we have a div. Let's just, just have a quick look at this. We have a, a wrapper, uh, which is this black box here. We have an inner, which has no background color, but has a block quote and then some text in the middle. The block quote and the, the text are of no relevance really for this, but it's just the content that we have. The div, what we're going to be manipulating is the inner and, uh, and so on. So let's just go from there. So at the moment, the background color of the inner is transparent. So let's just change it to orange to show you um, what's happening. And we'll then change the wrapper to say background color is then red. And as you can see here, these are the different uh, these are the different boxes. All right. So, what's important here to to note is we've got this we've got the stars in the background. And um, if we now add on inner an outline of say ten pixels solid, and we're going to make it red. You can see here it sits outside of the box. All right. And if we then say outline offsets and we say like minus 40 pixels, you can see here this now has a outline of 10 pixels solid red, right? That's not changed, but it's now gone inside of the box, all right? So, but the content has stayed exactly the same. It, you see it didn't move whatsoever. And this is the key thing with, uh, with outline is it doesn't affect the size, the width, the placement of anything. It just goes there and it will sit over the top of anything behind it, all right? And as you can see, it sat over the top of the text here and it didn't make it move. Now, if we change this to be border, you could see there the flicker, all right? You can see there the flicker of the sizes that, that changed, all right? And this is the key thing to understand is that border, it it is a part of the content size, all right? Whereas outline isn't. So if we if we now come and have a look at the inspector here, and re remembering, this is then the offsets. This is outline, all right? And uh, we look at the computed part of it. You can see here that, uh, well, let's go to the right box, go here to inner. We then have the padding, which it has none of, a border, none of, and margin. Uh, the offs, the, uh, sorry, the outline is on the outside of that, all right? It doesn't sit with inside of this. Um, it doesn't sit with inside of this. And uh, whereas border sits with inside of it. You see, it sits with inside of margin, okay? So if we change change it now to say uh, border and 10 pixels solid uh, blue All right you can see here that it now goes the content size the padding and then the border and then it goes margin and then the um, the outline is on the outside now at the moment we've said that the outline should be have an offset of minus 40 now we change it to be offset of plus 40 so it means it goes outside of the content itself now if we increase the size of the border the blue you'll notice this text so at the moment i think it's very difficult to start so if we make this border now say like 40 you'll see it's now i think it's very difficult to start and start has gone to the next line so it affected the inner content size because the border took up that space but outline doesn't do that. We could say 70 here and the content stayed exactly the same and the screen didn't move. There's no scroll bars, there's no nothing. And we make it to 200 and we still get no scroll bars, all right? Now, if we change the border to 200 on here, we start noticing we're getting scroll bars, all right? So that's why it, it affects the layout as well. Whereas outline doesn't affect the layout whatsoever. So as you can see here, this is basically how um, the outline works and the offset the offset is the thing that's moving it inside or outside and it, it sits directly outside of um, it sits directly outside of the border so if we put then here we put margin uh, 30 pixels on the inner okay and we're now going to look at uh, where the box is so we come we come here and we see the wrapper is there 
the 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 margin the margin sits around our outside right but if we now make the outline say 20 pixels that's come here the margin is sitting outside of the off the um, the outside of the, the the box the blue box the border all right the border is 20 and this is then sitting outside as you can see here right and if we just go out a little bit we might be able to see it better and you can see the margin on the outside all right and margin 30 pixels okay the margin um, of the box that goes in is due to the fact that I'm using whether um, we're using uh, a flex here that is sat in the center all right so it's not really affecting it there but the point of the matter is I didn't really want to get into margin uh, on this video um, but I, I hope this is enough for you to understand what the difference is, is between outline and border. Uh, now, outline is, is primarily there for the browsers to use for accessibility. So if someone is visually impaired and they're using their iPhone or their computer to be able to move around the screen uh, to better see what's going on, um, then that's what these, uh, these outline are there for. So you shouldn't really use them for, for styling for aesthetics if you've got if you've got the accessibility for people in mind and you want to make those elements look better uh, when that box has been focused upon uh, or selected and something then you should use that but you should always keep primary use of outline is for accessibility for visually impaired people all right but if you can do that then do do that all right Anyway, with that said, I hope you've got something out of this video. It wasn't supposed to be a long video. It was just supposed to be there to give you a demonstration uh, of how it works. All right. And also uh, give you a good quote. And I think let's just uh, let's just get rid of this background and let's get rid of this offset and let's get rid of this border. And I think I think Elon Musk's quote in itself uh, deserves uh, the time taken for it. And I think it's very difficult to start companies. It's quite painful. A friend of mine has a good phrase for doing a startup. It's like eating glass and staring into the abyss. If you are wired to do it, then only do it, not otherwise. So think of this why so think of it this way. If you need inspiring words, don't do it. And that's this is just a great quote uh, from Elon Musk. And uh, I thought it was good to use um in this one video for for um yeah, just something interesting to look at. With that said, thank you very much for watching. If you did like it, please think about giving it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, um, please tell me why. You know, I'm, I'm here to, to improve my videos to make sure everyone uh, likes them and that all of the content I'm doing is helpful for everyone. And if I said something wrong, did something wrong, or uh, please correct me. You know, I'm all about um, learning myself. And if I did say or do something wrong, I, I want uh, my viewers to be able to read this uh, so they can be so they can have the corrected version and maybe I can make a follow-up video um, other than that um, there'll be a, a, a video on the screen right now which either I myself I've recommended for you or YouTube is rec recommending for you which uh, a video that you you might like now just think about this that by liking or subscribing to my videos you're helping the algorithm help other people to find my video so um, don't think about me, think about other people. And if this video did help you, uh, then it's likely that it will help someone else as well. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao. Goodbye.